No big, just sitting on a wreck shooting a brood mother. Yeah, no, ain't no big deal. Are, oh my god, you are. You you were legit, sh like standing on the back of it, shooting the brood mother. America. <laughs> America. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. We're in. Uh, we're, our guys are going straight for the ceiling. Whereas Bamboo's taking control of the Rexes to try to get them situated and then burn this guy down. Ooh, I'm, I gotta get up a little higher. She's already going crazy. I'm gonna start the, the blasts. Oh. Well, <laughs> we're kicking this off crazy mode already. One Rex is still getting chomped on over there. I really want to turn off the screen strike. It's giving me a headache. Oh, three Rexes. We've got still three Rexes on the uh, on the Broodmo. I'm going to stop firing for a second, just so I don't accidentally hit them. Yeah, this is... This is insanity. Two of these guys might go. Oh, there we go. He's backing up. Oh, I think these might be the, the ridden ones. Okay, sorry. It's a little confusing because we're not all in the same spot. I must continue the deeps now. There is a way to get her, like, bugged out. Not like, not like bugged out, but like trapped. So she can't do any DPS. Uh, you just get her more or less trapped. And then once that happens, everybody's going to unleash. Okay, here she goes. And that's what they're trying to do at the moment. Oh, spiders. Oh, spiders. Get up there. Okay. I need to be like Batman here real quick. Pro-grep skills. Pro-grep skills. All right. Now she's stuck-ish. Turn off her interface here. And I'm just going to start going to town. Ooh, lots of Rexes. Interface back on. Let's get it a little bit, little bit lower. That's better. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Shaky screen, Broodmother. But she's burning down pretty quick. With 4 million health, we I gotta hide the numbers so I can see. With 4 million health, we have to out-DPS this. This is, the, this is the, the problem that we're gonna have to face. And it looks like enough of the Rexes are jammed into her that she's not attacking. So with our... I'm sorry, our, I say our, like we had them. With the guns that were, the blueprint that we borrowed from the Appendi tribe, we are doing 175 per shot. Uh, you can burn through a clip. What is it, Sixers? Like roughly, you can fire roughly 40 shots in Quickly. like two seconds? Yeah, it's not long at all. So that's, what is it, divide by half? That's close, to, it's close to like 2,000 damage per second, right? Yes. Is my Are my numbers right? So with close Roughly to 2,000 damage per second, I think it out-DPSs the compound bow. So I think we're better off using this than we would be the compound bow. Let's check. Uh, with 11 minutes to go, everybody's on here now. God, the screen shake is bad with this. We we might do it. Now you can come down, right? I, I'm actually perfectly fine shooting the top. I'm getting a better angle shooting the top of its head or the top of its abdomen. I mean, you don't have to be uh, grappled. Well, yeah, no, I know. It's just, it's easier for me just to do this because I have a, a better shot. It's it's closer. I'm, like, right on top of her. It's, I just, the screen shake is just making me lose my mind. I feel like it's going to trigger some kind of a, t oh, God. Uh, actually, my grapple just broke randomly. And now I am trapped on a Rex. Turn my interface back on. Let me get back up. Okay. I'm not doing much here. This is bad. Who's got a long neck? Although they're doing more damage than I am right now. Okay, that's good. Didn't mean to hit that. That's a little bit better. Reload it. Go back to town. Ten minutes. 
uh, health bar down about 25%, right? I can't see because of all the numbers. I don't know, my interface is off. I don't know if it Okay. Uh, yeah, about 25. Yeah, you, the interface is, is absurd. Bamboo's Rexes are doing fantastic. I just don't, I don't think they're getting, I don't think they're getting hit. I think all of the uh, Rexes being shoved into the Broodmother the way that they are is completely preventing the damage, which is exactly what we, what we want. It is exactly what we want in this situation. No big, just sitting on a Rex shooting a Broodmother. Yeah, no, ain't no big deal. Are, oh my god, you are, you, you were legit, sh like, standing on the back of it, shooting the Broodmother. America! America! <laughs> I'm gonna turn off my interface so this is a little cleaner. How many bullets did you bring, by the way? I brought 3,800. Close to. Close to 3,800. Oh, yeah? Good talk. <laughs> Six, how many bullets uh, did you bring? Uh, um, hold on, interface on. 4,000, roughly. Oh, my God, roughly 4,000? I am down to 2,000, by the way. Oh, what's the... Oh, I think the rifle will break before I run out of bullets, actually. To be perfectly honest with you. I'm at about 75% for rifle durability. And then it's we're gonna... It's about halfway now. It's about halfway? Oh yeah, maybe about 60%. With 8 minutes to go? Yeah! This is how you kill the Broodmother on hard mode! Yeah! Get some! Merc! <laughs> That's, that made my night, Bamboo. Good job with the Merc thing. That made my night. That was fantastic. Gee... Flippin' G. Unreal. I'm a little floored by how smoothly this is... Hey, hey, knock on wood. I'm a little floored by how smoothly this is going so far. And I need to stop taking my finger off the trigger here. We gotta do maximum possible deeps. One hand, one hand the broodmo. So how's everybody day, everybody's day going? Good. <laughs> good. The weather's going good. You know, it's very um. We got we got some natural light. Oh, okay. Spider webs. I don't know what the f you're talking about, but I, I I'm buying what you're selling. I'm liking it. Got some free mushrooms on the walls. Free mushrooms. Oh, you're talking about the arena. Yeah. For a second, I legit didn't know what you're talking about. Oh. Oh. My. Oh. oh. There's a Rex in my face, and he just uh. Maybe kind of knocked me down. Oh, I can't move. He knocked me off a perch. Who's ever on it? Please don't munch. I will be pepperonis. There we go. That was a little scary. That was the highlight of the video right there. Random Rex took me off my rock. Made my b-hole pucker. Rifle integrity, 50%. Time remaining, 7 minutes. We totally got this. Totally got this. In case you need to see the stats on the rifle again, guys, this is what the stats are. This is Upendi's blueprint. Uh, bam, I think you guys got this underwater sea drop, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Deep sea loot crate or deep sands loot crate, depending on if you're on Scorched. That's where I like to do all the farming for the, uh, the deep sea drops, because they're so easy to spot over there. And the, the materials weren't that bad for this. I think it was like a 1,500 poly... Not two shabs, uh, like eleven hundred ingots, like eight or nine hundred paste. Like it really wasn't bank breaking for us to supply, uh, disturb six of myself with this with this rifle to go into this battle like this. And bam, you haven't lost any rexes yet, have you? Oh god, nope. this. Oh god, this rex is I think trying to munch me. Good, 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 good. And has she damaged anything? I can't really tell because of the red numbers, but has she damaged any of the Rexes? No, not really. She's more or less just pinned. That's awesome. She so, doesn't do a lot of damage. It's the it's the poison blast, is what the crazy poison blast AoE, and you've completely prevented her from doing it. This is the way to this is the way to take this boss down. Try not to shoot the Rexes. I yeah, I'm I'm shooting at the abdomen of the head. I'm almost shooting over it. The abdomen of the head, the uh... But the Rexes are butt. giving me green numbers too, I just want to kill them all. <laughs> Look at all that green numbers. So you can go in, if you don't know, with a maximum of 20 dinos and 10 players. I said that a little bit earlier in the video. 
20 dinos, 10 players can go in all at the same time. We're at five minutes left and close to 25% health. I think we just unlocked ourselves a, a tech helmet. If only we could get the dragon working right. This would have been a really... This would have been a really good video. I think if we out DPS the dragon, like we're talking about, the theory, the theory craft, arc theory evolved. If we out DPS the dragon, pump out more than the tank Rexes are taking, we can we can do that too. But that's gonna be another thing where we've got to ally, bring in the allies for the battle. As long as we can get the get the boss working. Get the boss working. That's the big thing. Fix the bug, wildcard, please! We want to battle the Dagrons! We want to battle all the Dagrons! I got a thousand bullets left. Just saying. I have... 2,000. 2,000? Okay. But it's at like 25% health. I know, less than that Almost, now, I think. Yeah. Like 15. This is... Almost 10. I know this doesn't make for like a, a super entertaining video, and we actually thought about fast forwarding it, but last time we fought the the bosses, especially on hard mode, we got a lot of lot a lot of questions. So we wanted to make sure that we didn't skip a moment. Like you guys saw the full fight, start to finish, ev just everything that we were doing, and that's what we're we're here to show you right now. We're going to show you everything, just like we showed you everything with the Manticore and the Megapithecus. We're going to do the same with the Brood. And the dragon, when we eventually take that on in hard mode. We showed you the medium fight. You saw the medium brood, medium dragon fight. Now you're seeing the full glory of the, the hard mode fights. And the road to tech. The road to tech. I taste it. Um, I taste that helmet. It's coming. Uh, phrasing? Might That might have been a little dangerous. Three minutes taste left. Yeah. No, well, you're, taste, you're tasting the head. Yeah. Just let's. Can we just move on from this? I feel bad. <laughs> there it is. Tech helm unlocked. All right. Now, I've gotten a lot of comments about what happened in the uh, the Broodmother and the Megapithia, Megapithecus fight about not mounting the dinos before you get TP'd out. Apparently, you will die. In case you guys don't know, because I didn't know, I found out from commenters. Apparently, mounting a dino, both going in and out, can cause it to be a little buggy. So for safest results, it's recommended that you do not mount. And, uh, yeah. So we're not going to. We can't. We don't have any of our dinos in here. But that's what we're going with. Did anybody get the loots Did yet? Oh, well, I'm going to go check. I don't think anybody looted. I'm going to check. I'm going to check. I'm running across some Rexes. Uh, oh, yeah. Somebody got it. Somebody got the Ellie's. We'll split it between the tribs and go from there. Let's get TP down. Let me stop moving. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to move and screw it up. We might have a little bit of time. There we go. We're all back. We're in the, we're in the orgy again. Let's hop. Let's try to get out. Keep jumping. Yeah, that's all I'm going to try to do. Somebody is, who's... There oh we go. My, oh, I made I it out. First person. I see pink, green. I see. I've got oh, your afro oh. stuck in my head. Somebody's got to get a whip. I, I've got a whip on me, but I don't know if I can whip the other, the enemy dinos. Oh. Or the enemy dinos. The non-tribe dinos. Whip all them dinos. Am I out? I'm out! Woohoo! I'm free! I'm trying to, yeah. I'm trying to get you. Oh. I'm just going to pick you up. Why can't I move? There we go. I got stuck on a poop. Alright. We've sex successfully defeated the hard mode brood bow. Hard mode brew mode down. And now all that remains is the dag run. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. We'll catch you guys in just a Round moment. number two for the dragon. We're going to see what we can come up with. Boom. Dragon. Generati. It's coming in. <laughs> it's coming in hot. Pulling out my gun. We're all ready to go. Okay. So the idea is everybody's going to try to run up across that bridge just as quickly as we can. Hopefully, it doesn't do its little bug thing. Hopefully, we can... Hopefully, we can fight this guy! <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm going to... I'm going to say my... Did I not get teleported? Oh. I did. Okay. Oh, I can't get out. 
Oh, I'm out. Somebody oh, run up there. I'm running. I think I might, oh. might have been the first one. I'm running across the bridge. Try to get his aggros. I'm already dehydrated. Don't know why I pulled out my whip. It's it's gonna bug again. Yep, it bugged again. Bad. That stalks. I'm in I'm in the lava. Fire bed. Oh god, am I seriously gonna die here? Am I gonna die today? But failure number two. Sucks. I tell you, it works like 25% of the time. This is the most frustrating thing. Uh, sadness. Fix your stuff, wild card. Angry eyes. Well, I uh, I guess we'll find something different to do for the latter half of this video. We'll be back in just another moment. We're not going to go through that again. All right, Nerd Parators, we are back at the base. And we're going to talk a little bit for the latter half of the video about some of the improvements that we made to the base and why there's always random people outside of our doorway who are dead. We're going to talk about the, uh, the the tech barn and what we've kind of done with it. This is the tech barn, and we're going to talk about what we did with it and the way we kind of built it. It's not complete yet, obviously. There's still a lot. We're going to decorate the top with some turrets. We've vault dropped a little bit. But while we're on the subject, and before I forget, if you guys know of a better way to handle that dragon bug uh, when you go into the boss fight, Hit me up in the comments, because Six and I have just been kind of tinkering around with, like, the quicker you can run across the bridge, the better the chances of him spawning in properly are. Or at least that's what we thought. But every time that we got to try to fight him, it usually works one out of four times, and a lot of other people on the server are complaining about the same issue. We search the source, can't seem to find a solution, so if you guys know of one, please hit me up in the comments, let me know, and hopefully we'll try to get it remedied, or if you've experienced it yourself. If not... Share the video with Wildcard. Maybe it's a common bug or a, maybe an uncommon bug. Maybe it's something that they have to patch. Hopefully we can raise their awareness about it and uh, and get a solution to it. But enough of that. Let's talk about our tech barn and what we're actually doing. The outside is metal. And you're like, why? You We're going to build a tech barn. Well, we're going to talk about it. So the way the tech structures work, we double layered it. That's, that door is going to go away. We don't like normal doors anymore. It's only tech. we got to make one. So the tech, we haven't completely finish the walls yet we still need more element to do it but the interior is going to be all tech all tech the reason why is because tech takes less damage from explosives you with me so far tech takes less damage from explosives but more damage than metal against tech gear against tech rifles and wrecks rexes rex saddles now you guys already know that so we put the the exterior in metal so that people will have to at least drop uh, a C4 bomb or hit it with rockets before they could just like tech it down, tech tear it down out of turret distance with a tech rifle. So we're protecting the tech walls with a shell of metal. So they would at least have to blow through. Now they'd have to blow through twice. And since they've already blown through in one layer, it's going to protect it more from a barrage of, oh, yay, my thing's working. It's going to protect it more from a barrage of... Uh, tech related bulletry now a lot of you guys have commented that we needed to dye the uh, shield generator and that's what I just did I dyed it I was waiting the five minutes for it to boot up and it we, we made it green and it looks flipping awesome this is what the Raiders would have to deal with now remember when I was saying last last time we talked about the tech barn that the uh, shield was going flush against the back it was until we added this this next layer. We've added this next layer out there, so the dome is slightly outside of it. So there's gonna be turrets all up here that are poking out that are gonna make things super difficult for people to come and turtle drop and uh, otherwise C4 dino drop on us. So we're really prepared for that. We're gonna try to get turrets on the inside and outside. And we put some vaults up at the top as well because that is gonna be the probably the the easiest way to get through our tech barn is from dino drop c4 dino drop and we'll just say c4 turtle drop everybody knows what i means everybody knows what i means everybody knows what i mean so that is our goal extra layer of defense even the vaults are encompassed like this that that part was an accident we didn't actually pay for that but the vaults did encompass but it did it encompassed it and it's awesome and we have a green flipping barrier now and it looks super awesome and 
I'm I'm really I'm really really digging it. We got a lot a lot more work to do. Get turrets up on this thing. Get it protected. It's going to be another kind of big turret tower for us once it's all said and done, and the defenses are going to be even more bolstered. We just got to replace this stupid normal door with a tech door. We don't roll with normal doors anymore. We are tech doors only now. That's how we roll. It's going to be actually I should break this. No, I'm just kidding. It's going to be no door until it's tech door. That's how that's how we roll from here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the episode for us today. We got the broodmother down on hard mode, unlocked our tech helmet, and we showed the entire thing. So if you guys are looking to recreate it, uh, we had an imbalance. Uh, the Appende tribe has a good balance of Rexes. We had an imbalance when we went with our Rexes. We were all pumped in health, thinking we needed to out-tank the boss. When it's really more of a, a DPS battle, we should have pumped more damage and worked those Rexes into the uh, into the Broodmother. When we fought it, we only went in with four. Because we were like, eh, yeah, whatever. But we only went in with four. If you bring in, I think it's at minimum eight, you could pin it. Run, run the, just like Bamboo whistled them off, there's a little platform, the, the bridge, Run them off there, get the Broodmother down, and then get them all pinned in there and trapped. And the Broodmother apparently cannot attack, and you just burn her down easy peasy mode like we did in the video today. And the Dragon Glitch, we will get you on hard mode. We got it to work once before, we're going to get it to work again, hopefully sometime in the near future. And then we'll be sure to show you that, guys, how we burn down the Dragon on hard mode so that you can try to recreate it for yourselves. Alright, Nerd Paraders, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to take care of yourselves. Stay awesome. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Subscribe to the page if you haven't done so yet. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Later.